So let's talk about some communications basics that I'm going to focus on here today. And these are the four major aspects of what I want to talk about. First of all, who's on your communications team? How is that group organized? What are the team roles and responsibilities? And then how do you develop some sort of communication schedule and who puts that all together? Those are four really important areas of communications and I'm going to peel each one of them back. Now the first one is the communications team. Now you may say that's blatantly obvious. I know exactly who's on that. And for most people they would think of this. The communications team, of course, whether you call it corporate communications or something like that. But you probably also might have something like public relations or investor relations or possibly marketing and sales. Those are the obvious people whose job title is communication. But I would bet there's a lot of other people who are talking to other folks. And that list might look like this. Information technology. Certainly in a cyber event or an IT outage, they have lots of skin in the game. What about human resources and what are you saying to all of your internal partners? What about your key lines of business? Who do they talk to? And how are they managing that communication? Um, IT, information security, business continuity. Are there others? And I would bet if you actually step away for a moment and think about communication being a broader uh, situation in your company, that that list of communicators expands. 